Where to? Honey, it's here. Isn't this great? Oh, wow. Cool. What a time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. Tesla is finally rolling out its Tesla RoboTaxi service, which is a fully automated, self-driving taxi service on June 22nd, Sunday in Austin. Now, this is a very small scale rollout. To my understanding and from what I've read online, it is starting with 10 vehicles and each of those 10 self-driving vehicles are Tesla Model Ys and they will be having a supervisor or a, um, a passenger in the front passenger seat. However, there will be no driver in the driver's seat at all. Now, only a select few people have been invited to this event, keeping this event very small scale and as controlled as possible. Elon has mentioned plenty of times that he is super paranoid about safety and that he wants this trial phase to go properly. Now, in my opinion, this has to go correctly the first time around. Tesla cannot afford for this launch to go in the wrong direction or for a huge mishap to happen during this trial phase. So Elon has mentioned plenty of times that he is super paranoid about safety. And this is probably why the scale is, is starting off as small as possible, which is logically smart. And for extra precaution, there will be a supervisor or a passenger in the passenger seat of the vehicle should the vehicle need to be emergently stopped or the ride aborted for whatever reason, uh, you know, for whatever reason may arise. Again, there will be no driver in the driver's seat. However, now there are plenty of rules that are accompanying this trial phase. First of all, the Tesla RoboTaxi at this moment is, is geofenced to certain locations within Austin. Again, this is to keep the variables as controllable as possible so that safety is the primary objective here and that the trial phase goes as smoothly as possible without a hitch. This, in my opinion, is the correct way to go about doing this. Tesla is doing this right. They're being extremely cautious. They're being safe. They're keeping safety as a priority. And this is the way to go about doing it. Remember, Tesla cannot afford to mess this up. This has to go right the first time around. And I am positive that Tesla and Elon Musk are prioritizing safety first and foremost here so that everything goes as smoothly as possible and in the most controlled fashion as possible as well. Now, as far as the geofencing goes, the geofenced areas, obviously, I don't believe are going to be permanent. This is just for the small scale trial rollout of the Tesla RoboTaxi. Now, let's take a look at some of the fine prints here in the program. And it's showing here from whole Mars catalog on X, lots of fine prints on the RoboTaxi service. Someone will be sitting in the front seat of the car, which we have already mentioned. You are only allowed two passengers per ride and, and they both must be at least of 18 years of age. No getting rides for guests. Early access holder has to be in the car and service is from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. No airports. Again, this is looking like it's really prioritizing safety and they want to keep it as small as possible. And I assume they will slowly ramp up their scale service and area and autonomy the more successes they have with each trial phase they roll out now i really don't understand all of the all of the negativity with with uh you know that that's coming from these you know these rules or whatever you want to call it you know these guidelines for the small scale rollout i really don't understand the negativity I mean, yes, of course, Elon Musk has promised uh, that that full self-driving will be fully solved. And you know what? In my opinion, full self-driving is pretty damn close to being fully solved as it is in every single Tesla vehicle that's already out there. But we're talking about here a, a, a rollout of a Tesla RoboTaxi that is fully automated. There is no driver in there and it is using a different version of full self-driving um, compared to the ones that are available currently in, in, in the consumer Tesla vehicles. So, you know, to me personally, I believe it's quite impossible and unwise 
to just all of a sudden come out and fully roll out a fully, you know, full self-driving robo-taxi without going through the proper trial phases first to ensure that it is actually perfect and is running as smoothly as possible with safety as a primary objective here, right? So it, so in my opinion, all of the hate and negativity, you know, geared towards this kind of uh, trial phase is, is really immature in my opinion, as literally every product on the market that has the ability to affect human lives directly never gets rolled out 100% on day one. They go through numerous iterations or iterations, numerous iterations of phases of testing where each phase, once proven successful, advances to the next phase and eventually reaching the final phase, which is the mass rollout, mass unsupervised rolled out, you know, rollout of the product. So all of the negativity, in my opinion, is I, I cannot believe that people are actually being um, negatively critical. I mean, I can understand the criticism. I can understand productive criticism, but I cannot understand the toxic criticism of this kind of a rollout when, when I think, in my opinion, this is a smart and wise way to do it. Tesla cannot, again, I, I cannot emphasize this enough, Tesla cannot afford to screw this up. So Elon, as he's also stated many times, he's being paranoid by safety and he's being as safe as possible. Now, a few comments here on this thread are, you know, are, are, are highly critical of this. You know, with, with one commenter saying, nothing say FSD like having a driver in the car. There is no driver in the car. <laughs> There is no driver in the car, as Whole Mars catalog rightfully replies. I mean, it, to me, this is pretty, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty common sense, right? I mean, there is a human being monitoring the vehicle from the passenger seat. There is no driver in the driver in the driver's seat. So it is technically uh, a driverless vehicle, right? And, this is the, it, and to me, this is the right way to go about doing it. Oh, what's this? Oh, looks like my ride's over here. Honey, it's here. Isn't this great? Oh, wow. Sample. Cool. All right, guys, anyway, this is such a great time to be alive, and I am really excited for this rollout to finally happen. Many people have said that it would never happen, and you know what, it's happening. So I'm happy it's happening. June 22nd, Sunday, Austin. I wish Tesla the best. I wish all of the people who got invited to this event the very best. Hopefully you can showcase the best of what Tesla Robotaxi has to offer. Hopefully everything goes, goes perfectly fine. And this is just the beginning. This is just the start of the beginning, folks. It, it's only up from here. It's only up from here. Anyway, if you like what you saw, give me a follow, a like, and a, and a subscribe. If you agree with me or disagree with me, I want to hear your opinions. Please leave a comment below and we can have a conversation. All right, guys, have a nice day.